Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSA3 video. Hey man, you okay? Nah, he dead. He dead AF. So, yeah, anyway, uh, we are trying today the Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. And this is the Game Pass version slash the Windows Store version. And I have not activated the mod right now. I'm playing on 1080p with uh, settings are on high. Hey, wait, bro. Let me kill you first. So, MSI Afterburner is not compatible with this mod. Right now, I am using it, but I will close it after I install the mod. So, we are averaging around. 40 to 50 fps in this area now we'll begin installing the mod so you're gonna need these two zips according to your pc uh, your gpu one is for the uh, universal like it will work on all cards and this one is specific for RTX uh, but both of this zip has the hood flicker issue so it doesn't really matter actually but you can try either of those if uh, anyone fails uh, for you so like if the first zip fails you can try the second zip so we're gonna try the first zip here I'm gonna go to the installation directory after that content binaries and where the dark tide.tx is located we're gonna paste it here okay after pasting we're gonna need to edit the fsr to fsr 3 config so in order to do that uh, we're gonna run the game from this uh, shortcut don't run the game from this uh, windows launcher or like this uh, um, start menu shortcut uh, you need to run the game from this one and also you need to close the msi afterburner so yeah I close the MS after burner. Now I'm gonna run it from here and close the CMD window when it appears and then edit the FS at FS at config. So run it, close the config. The game will also get closed. And we have seen we can see that uh, config file has appeared here. Now we're gonna edit it with notepad and turn this fake NVIDIA GPU to true then click on file click on save now one thing i want to tell you that if you can't see the dlss frame generation in game setting on a non rtx card uh, you can try one thing copy this replace dlss fg and replace it with the default text uh, so do try this after uh, like the first step like uh, what so by default uh, you will need to just only Mm, change this to true and after that save the file and run the game if you can't see the frame generation then change the replace dlss fg to default and then uh, save the file and run the game now before starting i'm just gonna turn on the dlss so yeah there is the dlss we're gonna turn it on frame generation on resolution will we set it on quality uh, yeah after that we're gonna hit the checkpoint and see how much more fps we're getting so as you can see the frame rate is now around 120 110 120 depending on scenarios previously we were averaging around 40 to 50 and now it's around 110 to 20 so it's uh, almost double the fps uh, but yeah there is the hood flicker it also exists with the rtx zip also like uh, the rtx zip is generally stable and does not have any hood flickers but in this case the rtx zip also have the hood flicker so yeah do keep that in mind uh, while playing and yeah now uh, i'm gonna play the game for one to two minutes and show you guys the fps boosting and so this will be it uh, if this video helps you to subscribe to the channel uh, leave any comment if you're facing any kind of issue it's a zombie apocalypse and yeah, i'll see you guys in the next one thank you